There are many interactions which are interspaced throughout these tutorials. In this part, we're going to look at one. This will carry us over to the thermodynamics module, in which you can find calorimetry under the first law. So now, click the first law and move down the list until you come to the part calorimetry. When I click calorimetry, I'll stop talking and let the tutorial voice comments take over. If you burn a substance in a bomb calorimeter at fixed volume, the heat change is the internal energy change. The measure of the internal energy of substances in this way is called calorimetry. For example, if you want to know the energy content of cookies, you simply weigh them and burn them in a bomb calorimeter. The same energy content is present when you eat them. The apparatus is insulated, so all the heat that is released by burning in the bomb passes into the container where it causes a temperature rise. If we calibrate the apparatus and we know how much of a sample was used, we can calculate the heat of combustion for the sample. The stirrer spreads the heat from the bomb equally around the apparatus. The bomb contains a sample at fixed volume in excess oxygen. A small burst of electrical heat causes the sample to start to burn. We ignore the heat from this initiating heating wire. The battery has a switch which is turned on only long enough to initiate the burning. A thermometer is used to measure the temperature increase from the heat of combustion. On the time scale of the experiment, no heat can escape from the system. First, to calibrate the equipment, we must know the effective heat capacity of the apparatus. To do this, a known weight of a sample with known heat of combustion is burned in the apparatus. The sample is placed in the apparatus and the combustion initiated with a heating coil. As the known sample is burned, the temperature of the whole apparatus changes. The temperature rise is recorded. From the known heat of combustion and the temperature rise, we calculate and thus calibrate the apparatus. An unknown sample is weighed and placed in the bomb. The combustion is initiated. Again, the temperature rise and change is recorded. From the calibration and the temperature difference, the heat of combustion is obtained. Dividing the result by the known mass of the sample, the internal energy change per gram is obtained.